Today we're going to cover how to use the 80 meter coil on the MC750. First we set up the tripod and assembled the MC750 bottom. Then we set up the radials. The MC750 was originally equipped with a 7 MHz coil, but today we don't use it and modify it with an 80 meter coil. After installing the 80 meter coil we installed a whip. By the way, we should note that there are two sizes of whip, the old one is 5.2 meters long and the new one is 5.6 meters long, but it doesn't matter, the operation is the same. Installing the whip requires pulling the whip to its longest length to pull out every whip. Since there are no markers on the whip for the 80 meter coil needed, we need to use the VNA to match the regulation to 3.5 to 3.9 megahertz. The first thing to do after turning on the SV6301A is to set the frequency to roughly between 3 and 4. I've gone ahead and done the calibration. Next we observe SWR and Smith charts. Now to connect the feeder, we need to use the N to UHF adapter. At this point we can already see that there is a reading. Let's select the point with the lowest frequency. At this point we can see that it's 3.36 MHz, and we need to work in the range of 3.5 to 3.9 MHz which means that we need to go ahead and shorten our whip closer to that range. We follow the SWR in the upper left corner to shorten the whip. As the whip shortens, the frequency increases. We continue to shorten until the SWR reaches about 3.5, which is all we need. Remember that if you want to see the SWR reading during the shortening process, you have to take your hand off the whip first and take a few steps away so that the reading is accurate. In addition, you need to be clear that the existing whip is divided into 5.2 meters old version and 5.6 meters new version. In addition, depending on the environment and whether or not the use of tripod when there is a slight adjustment, but the use of the same method. Now that we've found the length of the whip at around SWR 3.5, we need to continue to adjust to find the length of the whip at around SWR 3.9. Just use it between these two lengths for future use. Now we continue to shorten the whip, and again, we stand away and observe the SWR reading until it approaches 3.9. Right now, the SWR is about 3.9, which means that with our current setup, tuning the whip to this length is fine. This is how to adjust the SWR to between 3.5 and 3.9 with a 5.6 meter whip when using an ADM coil. Thanks for watching. If you're interested, you can buy it directly from the official website or check your nearest reseller.